Hi, my name's Bob Grunia, and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project, and I'm here with Henk Uren in his garage lair place here, and he is going to talk through the two aspects of the power supply that feed the control power to the Vega experiment. And the first one we're going to look at is the Cockroft Walton uh, device. And essentially, it's in this box down here, right, Hank? <laughs> it's in this box, and I don't want to. We don't want to move it right now. Um, no, so... that's right. And, uh, and, and I don't want to be um, embarrassed by all the wires <laughs> sticking out of it. And it's, um, it's a double one, so it's, uh, it's, it's a 100 hertz version, you can say. So I get more amperage out of it mm -hmm. usage of only of course two sets uh, of, of capacitors uh, but i needed i want to have more current in the system and i wanted to have more capacitive current another phase in the uh in the, the current um voltage relation because the other uh, supply is making an inductive current and this is a capacitive current and indeed it functioned. I didn't see the signal uh, on the on the scope yet but it, it you can see the behavior of the plasma has changed. So what capacitors are you using here? Well big ones. A friend of mine deals in these capacitors and I don't know this value but it is say 70 or 80 microfarads in 400 volts and more of them inside and bigger ones but to combine them to uh, you need and and to get current you need the big ones because because the this type of of, of device uh, gets a high voltage but also low current so the more stages you add the lower the current gets so i stopped with this one for about 500 volts so double stage because I just wanted to have the current and not the voltage. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, I started with this one. I didn't have these transformers yet, and I needed to get a high voltage. I knew it. So I immediately started with a single phase um, device, and I had to crank it up to, to even 4,000 volts to get the process started. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, now I don't need it, so I keep it. Yeah. And are you relying on the so basically the natural discharge cycle uh, to drive it, or have you got any means of uh, triggering the discharges? No, oh, it's the uh, no, it's the, the the discharge has to come from the relation between the the, the maximum voltage and um, the, the 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 vacuum. I mean. When the vacuum is not low enough, it will not start. Mm -hmm. Or you have to increase the, the voltage. Both that's two parameters you have to um, control to get the, uh, the plasma running. And did you say what these capacitors are normally used for? Uh, they are for um, how do you call it the, the power factor of uh, of installations to uh, to control the power factor. Mm -hmm. Or maybe in uh, in the, I don't know in this one, but. This is a three-phase one, mm -hmm. so it's probably a power factor. Uh, it can be used in motors as well. Mm -hmm. It depends. Uh, to, when you build these into motors, you get a better power factor uh, of the capacitor. So it has a code on the top here, which is... Uh... Yeah, but it doesn't <laughs> say so much. You have to measure the... I have probably others with... Uh... 180307. But it should It's be... relatively heavy. I mean, I would say it's best part of a kilo. At least. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's an electrolytic capacitor, is it? And then you yeah. ha you have um, some resistors in there. What kind of resistors are you using and what kind of specifics? No, 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 no resistors at all, actually. Okay. Main, main, main... Di some big diodes, rather, sorry. Yes, diodes yeah, yeah. Is, uh, is being used, of course. And in the Cockroft uh, Walton, yeah. Yeah, well, it, in these uh, diodes are very simple because they need to have handled maybe 400 volts. Yeah. And, and, and two, one or two amps, so mm -hmm. these are very cheap, uh, simple mm -hmm. uh, um, diodes. And you've got that connected to a variac, why is that? Uh, well, this is, I had to use it in the beginning also, because I don't want to uh, switch on uh, 4,000 volts just like <laughs> that. Yeah. 
So I have to start with zero. And the Variac is this is a t two uh, kilowatt version of KVA. Mm -hmm. So I can dial it up, and that's. Um, um, so the Variac is feeding a series of. No, only the the. Only the Cockcroft Walton. Yeah. No, okay. Cockcroft Walton. Um, so what's the relationship between the input voltage and the output voltage from the Cockcroft Walton? I think factor of two now. Okay. So I, I made it a double one. Yeah. Um, because that's enough to feed, to be an extra feed. Because I start the process with the um, the other power supply because mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. can go up about seventeen hundred volt mm -hmm. maximum now. Yeah. That's enough to start it, and then I have to add it because this five hundred volt that it gives is not enough to start the process. Mm -hmm. We found out yesterday it's very you, when we switch off all the other the other power supply. It the 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 the, the, pl the plasma still is there because mm -hmm. the voltage is high enough to 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 support the process. You can see it on the meters that the, the voltage goes down to maybe even hundred uh, volts, but um, to 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 keep the process running. But it's absolutely not enough to start it. When I started this morning, also we have to pump first, and then you switch on the power supply at 1700 volts, and then suddenly it starts slowly uh, with some discharges, mm -hmm. and then you pump a little more, then the process becomes more stable, and then um, then you could switch off the transformers, the high voltage, and then the the, uh, the Crocroft uh, multiplier can sustain the whole process. And when you created the Vega Valley. What level of system did you have? The, the Crocroft. Just the Cockcroft? Yes. Okay. So, should we have a look at the magnetron transformer section of the power supply? Yes, let's go there. So, you have these uh, ganged switches here, yeah? And yeah, just standard switches. I found somewhere old, old stuff and I, I just mounted them. In this case, this first one is not working. The transformers mm -hmm. are still loosely mm -hmm. in, the, in the box, and these are connected to pairs. Because in the beginning, I used uh, the, um, the microwave transformer one to one with um, the Variac, but then I found out that I could only go to uh, say um, these are two hundred and thirty volt transformers. Yeah. Uh, mains input. Uh, I could only use the half of it, otherwise I would blow up stuff and it did, didn't work. So I had to stop, um, say, about 120 volts or so. So then I thought, well, why not put two transformers in series? And, uh, and that worked. So I put two transformers in series, two white microwave transformers in series. And use that uh, that pair as one, mm -hmm. and then the voltage is not maybe uh, 20, 20, uh, 600 or even or higher voltages, but half of it, say seventeen hundred volts, and that's enough. Mm -hmm. And then um, you get immediately also per set uh, the double amount of uh, amperage. Mm -hmm. and that's what you really need to feed. Uh, to get it going, to, yeah. No, to feed the beast. To feed it, to feed to, it. To yeah. get it going, you need the voltage. Mm -hmm. But then, when it's going, you need uh, the yeah the amperage. So this is your shelf of transformers, right? Yep. And you've taken these transformers out of microwaves, right? Right. So this is a uh, something that can be very, very dangerous uh, because don't touch it. You have very high voltages in the microwave transformers okay and you've got like some rectifiers built onto the top there with some yeah, doors exactly. a little bridge rectifier from diodes yes exactly a bridge rectifier and that you and then you put them on parallel and it's it goes automatically you don't have to think about it um you have to i use bigger diodes but it's because the voltage is now about uh 1700 maybe 2000 volts it's okay with uh, also very cheap uh, diodes, and I, on purposely, just solder four of them together. It's easy. Mm -hmm. I don't have to. I just buy very, very cheap diodes, and uh, 
make these uh, rectifiers. And uh, you're picking these microwaves up off a scrap yep. heap? You can get them for free. Um, so free is a good price, isn't it? That's a good price. Yeah, we like free. My hours are not for free, so no. I have to get them out of them. And, that, and I have to modify them because one, of, one side of these uh, secondary wires mm -hmm. is connected to the, the metal frame. Right. So I have to take it off and make a, a support. To and why do you, do you choose to do that? I want to have as little as possible voltage in the system uh, on, on surfaces. I don't right. want to touch anything that's high voltage. And so you've so built I, this wooden framework for... Yes, there's also... Yeah. And uh, yeah, to, to make it uh, floating in, in And you have to keep them cool uh, when you're using these large computer fans. Because yeah, I'm, I'm not using them the way they're designed to be. And and and, and these are current transformers. Mm -hmm. So these transformers are not capable of um, and and only used for a short while. In, mm -hmm. in, in you're not. Yeah, you're you're like cooking for three minutes, aren't yeah, you? Right. Typically, <laughs> so the, not for it, hours on end. And then this has been uh, on for 24 hours, maybe. But then mm -hmm. the big transformers uh, get really hot, so sometimes you have to switch them off. And um, so you've but, got what six or eight microwave transformers in yeah, here? Now, now three are working. Three sets are working. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I use the old microwave ventilators, but okay. that made a lot of noise. Bob was complaining. <laughs> yeah. So I bought some uh, not so very expensive ones, but m more silence. So before they uh, overheat, uh, we had a discussion about the number of transformers, and you had said you've got three operational at the moment, yes? Yeah, two transformers are waiting there to uh, be connected. Um, Down the bottom, yeah? For now. Uh, and, and we can see that amperage is a very important factor. So. Uh, to drive it even with maybe 100 amps would be interesting, but um, yeah, that's uh, another phase in the pro project, maybe. Okay, so what are these big capacitors here? Uh, big capacitors, yes, they are. It's a thick 6,000 volts and um, and used as you use a capacitor in a uh, DC system to uh, flatten the, the, the ripple. But uh, the, the interesting thing is that the ripple is uh, about 100 <laughs> percent so uh, it doesn't matter if you put them in or not um, there is a very big ripple and that's because the the the, the voltage current relation and when people uh, research the uh, the sapphire documents it's not normal it's absolutely not normal and that's what i can see here as well it's not normal because um the voltage can go up uh, in, uh, high enough to to trigger the, uh, the 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 process, but then when the process starts, it can go even up back to um, maximum current, and then the voltage goes to zero. So it's 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 strange, but then the process still works. So what's really going on there? I don't know, but um, that 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 is also interesting area to research a little bit more because but. When you see the signal on the scope, it's very complicated. So it, it, it's a whole f different field of research, probably. And but I, I, I know now that it's very important to have um, the, 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 the capability the, the, to to, um, to to regulate the, the power supply um, in any direction, actually. Putting high frequency on top of it. Now it's the frequency of 100 hertz because it's a, a bridge rectifier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, what what will happen when you put a, a kilohertz or a megahertz on it? So the power. That, that's that's questions. So the the uh, resistor yes. down the bottom there. What is the point of this? Well, when this current, uh, when you have this shortcut, you can say you, you will damage the. Uh, the I, I'm, I'm afraid I will damage the the diodes because when it's like a shortcut, all the power of the transformer will be uh, will be uh, current and then um, maximum current, and it might blow the um, or the transformer. 
So this is, let's say, uh, um, a protection device, and it and and that's the reason probably also that uh, the voltage goes to uh, zero. But this one gets very very hot. Sometimes it's getting red hot, um, and that's what you can see, of course, on the voltmeter on front of this uh, system, that the voltage goes uh, back to only 100 volt. And what actually is that that you've chosen to use there as a yeah. ballast resistor or whatever it is? I found it somewhere as a cooking plate. <laughs> Just a cooking plate. That's yeah. fantastic. And that uh, I've uh, when in one um, uh, furnace plate, how you call it, with four of these uh, sections, there are uh, there are more powers you can choose. Mm -hmm. So resistors you can choose. So. Mm -hmm. I can make uh, uh, for from 27 ohms, I think, up to, and you can put them in series. You can make any high power um, resistor from it. It's interesting. It's easy. It doesn't cost you anything. Very robust. So, uh, so essentially, it. apart from the capacitors, uh, they're all really scrap elements that you got and pieced together here. Well, the capacitors uh, are not scrap, but is. Uh, laying was laying in an uh, in an um, on a shelf doing nothing mm -hmm. so i could uh, repurposed repurposes they they're having a better life and uh, thanks to sandro he, he supplied these ones for me these capacitors so i'm happy uh, to have some uh, friends that can su source some materials like this uh, ac power meter that power meter yeah the power factor of this installation is so bad that measuring the AC power input is not very accurate. So I went to the DC power measurement here mm -hmm. in front of the system. And you have some uh, transformers down here, do you? Yes, well, this is just a coil, three phase um, coil uh, to. to um, protect systems from surges, so from high frequencies as well. Are you using all three phases or not? No, just one of them, but it is something I, Sandro had in his, in his, in his, on his, on his shelf as well. Yeah. And I used normal transformers before, worked also fine, but um, I blew up, um, no, the, the, the reason why it's here, it's because of the back voltage back current. I don't want to have this in the power supply because I want to save my diodes. Mm -hmm. So I have to, and, and this is plasma, and it's, uh, we know from all the literature, uh, when you start sparking, it creates very high back voltages, mm -hmm. very fast, and so you don't want to have this in your power supply. That's the reason why I put it there, to protect it. But then I had to protect also the windings of this uh, transformer because it just flashes over. And that's this green small resistor that's over the uh, winding with a capacitor, small capacitor from the microwave. So when there is a really high voltage spark, it goes through the capacitor and the resistance and it becomes heat and it doesn't become a a nasty spark that destroys the insulation of the transformer, or this, this in the, in this case, the, the coil. Thank you very much. Is that the, would you say, the major components of the power supply? Yeah, and and you can maybe say something about the fault in the amperage meter because this is, of course, the the main part. To these are just ordinary AC, um, DC analog meters and the advantage is that there is when there is a spike here or there that it is averaged out a digital meter will have maybe more difficulty with it so this is very simple um, and this gives a fairly precise um, indication of the input power of the of the tank because this all these power supply stuff has a bad power factor and but this is clearly what's going in uh, into the system
So, so, th so then you can see a little bit if there is a positive or a negative energy flow. Mm -hmm. That that is what we are interested in as well, of course. So thank you very much, Hank, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.